In this video, I'll talk about how some agencies can help us to, to achieve the perfect democratic world that uh, Abraham Lincoln had dreamed of. You are listening to Ramrutan Gwala and uh, through, through my channel, what I do is I try to spread uh, awareness and uh, information about uh, about how Bharat, which is India, uh, is is advancing in uh, adva in space technology, information technology, and uh, economy and finance and uh, social sectors such as uh, uh, women empowerment and uh, so uh, and so uh, children's education. Now, when it comes to democracy. Uh, what what could be your definition um, from your side? Well, uh, there are there are uh, numerous definitions about democracy. For me, it is it is not just of the people, for the people, or uh, or by the people. Democracy entails many aspects of of our lives. It's it's not just about free speech. And, uh, and in this uh, fourth industry, or, or so to say, uh, Web 3.0 era, uh, the meaning has completely cha changed when it comes to democracy. Through democracy, you can, you can change the world, world scenario or the world perception. Through democracy, you can, uh, you can protect your ethnic people, or uh, native people, and uh, at the same time, you can protect uh, protect the people, those who are coming to uh, your country, and uh, and you can raise your living standard or degrade your life standard, and uh, uh, sometimes spoil your own life if not exercised properly. You can. You can make impactful and good international relations with uh, other foreign nations uh, using your universal adult suffrage, which is which is the funda foundational weapon of demo uh, democracy. Let me shed some light on how the the democracy of the USA and uh, India being being the oldest uh, and, the, and the largest democracy respectively uh, on this earth can uh, transform this world, this beautiful world. If someone from the USA asks me, uh, asks me this question, what traits do you look for in a, in a leader to be elected in India? A leader who, has, who can understand the mass psychology of the entire population is what I try to see. This, this is an impossible charismatic trait in a leader, but uh, it, is, it is possible. When uh, uh, we, have, we have come across such leaders around the world now and then. Second, a leader who has, who has a vision and uh, is strong enough to make a decision in, independently. This is also important uh, quality. And a leader who is educated. For me, the word educated has a different meaning and, uh, and is uh, separate from the word literate. For me, a literate person is one uh, who is qualified and uh, who, has a, who has a degree, who has a certain kind of degree awarded from boards or uh, universities. And an educated leader may have a certain degree or may not have any any degree at all from 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 a board or university or in simple terms he or she may be illiterate but uh, that person knows how to how to treat the common man how to how he or she behaves with the common man and how he or she respects and protect his his common man in india i have i have never seen any uneducated or illiterate person uh, person being elected 
uh, so far because uh, our leaders have always respected us and uh, protected us and uh, also because our leaders always help us how to dream how to dream big and uh, i am ready to vote for any leader irrespective of his uh, of his or her religion whether he he, he or she is uh, hindu a muslim a uh, christian sikh buddhist jain jew or judaism etc and uh, if again someone from the usa asks me uh, what traits do you look for in a leader to be to be elected in in the usa now now before answering this question um i want to put some a flashback to the to the era of information technology uh, uh information technology rapid rapid growth that happened uh, around the the later later part of 90s in india this id industry took a sudden uh, upward growth in its trajectory in india uh, because around half of our indian graduates regard uh, mathematics as their god they they consider mathematics uh, above their religion and uh, as you know uh, mathematics is the foundation to to learn any subjects uh, subjects like uh, physics and uh, and uh, uh, quantum physics and many other subjects economics as well and so it all started with this and then uh, you can see uh, people like uh, like sundar pichai and uh, satya nadella and uh, ninjas you say uh, about about other people uh, from from other other sectors like indian american uh, scientists and uh, astronaut doctors all the politicians so so now you'll find american uh, indian american wor uh, working in top positions like uh, uh, across uh, us uh, territorial region such as uh, educationist uh, scientist uh, engineers uh, businessmen id professionals space scientists uh, astronauts um, medical professionals film uh, directors and uh, now now you can see some some names of indian uh, american participating in us politics like uh, Nikki Haley, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, and uh, uh, Hirsh uh, Vardhan, uh, Vardhan Singh. So, whoever Indian goes to the, the, the USA, they mostly work in, in, a, in a grade jobs. Now, there might be some, some section of uh, people from India who would be uh, working in B and C grade jobs. In terms of uh, percentage and uh, ratio, A grades uh, to, to B and C grade, the employ, employability turned out to be 90% and 10% uh, respectively. 10% for B and C together, if you if would like to take. Now, going back to the question, uh, what traits do you look for, look for in a leader uh, to be elected in the USA? Given the choice uh, out of uh, contenders, let's say, Donald Trump and uh, Vivek Ramaswamy. I I would uh, better choose to to vote for uh, Donald Trump. Um, it's not because uh, he is a good orator, or or it is it is not because his speech is uh, very engaging and uh, entertaining, but because he can make hundred percent one hundred percent connect uh, connection to the mass, which I already mentioned earlier uh, the mass uh, psychology it is it is all about mental connection uh, with the mass uh, from a genetic standpoint it is it is uh, very hard to explain the this idea to you but uh, uh, yes uh, he will be able to understand the mass psychology in a better way i mean to say uh, i i will choose to vote a native native american or uh, ethnic American. Uh, Native Americans would be would be, uh, would better serve my interests 
my my interest my first interest is that when i visit the usa for any purpose i will feel that my production is in a better better hands another reason is that uh, uh, when native american or ethnic american is the the president uh, he or she can better protect the the indian american professionals working there uh, which I, I already talked about earlier. Um, now for Native American or ethnic American, it is very important to, to keep in mind that Indian bride uh, students uh, started to move out to the USA because they were hungry to, to showcase their talents. They did not have the, 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 the correct opportunity to put themselves in such sector in India, which USA market turned out to be the best alternative for them. And this workforce movement occurred not only because of the employment opportunities, but also because, uh, because of their eagerness to, to present themselves as the best worker. Also because all the sectoral industries in the in the USA uh, needed a huge workforce workforce at that time. Uh, this movement occurred earlier in 90s. So I think only a Native uh, American president or ethnic uh, American president can uh, protect uh, our professional working in in the in the US. For any Native American citizen or ethnic American citizen, it is, it is important to understand of which Indian Americans are contributing to GDP or national income of the USA. Now, whoever Indian goes to the USA, all of them are contributing uh, uh, for, for the betterment of American society. But the important index of the Indian American contribution to the, the USA in terms of GDP or uh, national income is the ratio 80 to 20 or 90 to 10. In other words, as long as 80% Indian American professionals have a grade, a, a grade job, including B grade sometimes though, uh, and 20% in a C grade job, they are contributing to, to the USA. However, if the figure becomes upside down, upside down, then there is some problem, and uh, the and then the Native American uh, need to check the GDP. How how what is going on? I'm explaining this uh, because uh, nowadays because, uh, business businesses are taking place between India and the USA in in a bilateral manner to some extent, unlike one-sided only sometimes uh, ago but in but in order to understand uh, what i am saying uh, the native people of the usa need to understand about uh, indians how how we live in india and uh, how we rose from uh, from poverty after independence in 1947 in in 1947 we were we were one of the poorest countries in the world and uh, we have come across a very harsh and tough times and uh, difficult times uh, like the like like Israel has been through for for many citizens of the USA understanding about India is really important because li our life is dependent on them and their lives are dependent on us and uh, and if there is any break away from under, this understanding then world democracy will face challenges as we can see the current situation going on uh, worldwide before i close uh, i i must add uh, one thing that we have some emotional attachment to russia despite this once we commit to something to any country we we try to serve the interest of that country 
without affecting our old ties or new ties or with making some adjustments uh, with, with changing times. But, but I know that majority of native and uh, ethnic, ethnic uh, North American people do not know about us. Many of them don't know, don't even know where uh, India is located geographically. And, uh, and I wish that someone could let them know about uh, India, which is also called Bharat. So that uh, how we live and how we eat, sometimes sitting on the floor and uh, dreaming of going beyond the moon and the Mars. So this is my wish. I think only five eyes can do this job to unite us to save the democracy and make a better world that uh, Abraham Lincoln had dreamed of.